Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, just a kind of quick one today, since I haven't posted in a while, I want to keep you guys up to date with what I'm doing and what I've been up to. I'm just making this Jesus rig. It's from the film Light of the World um, by the Bancroft brothers, these ex-Disney animators. I'm not a religious person, but I just, I think the character design in this film looks really cool. The film looks really cool, and yeah, I'll be excited to give it a watch for sure. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a rigged and rigged character with bones slash some point animation too which i'll show you um so yeah let's just show you the the i've got these bones here on the flick of his hair which are set to dynamic they kind of do their own thing which i'll show you now um i've animated this head kind of random tilt thing just to show the that dynamic bone it got, they're kind of working as you can see it kind of that's not me animated it that's doing it based on the the head rotation it's kind of just that's what the software can do which is really cool big fan of that so yeah this isn't obviously a natural head movement this is just me testing the flick um but yeah pretty cool i've got these eyes blinking and the iras coming down too which is also point animation so yeah quite cool quite enjoying this rig so um let's just animate the mouth um now with the point animation, see kind of you can just have a an insight of how I've done this. I've obviously got the mouth on one layer; it's all clipping masks. And let's just go here. I'm gonna select the lips. I'm gonna click on the the points so it creates a. Hmm, there it's not coming up. If I click on the vector points, there you go. It's created these are keyframes now for the motion of the the points. As you can see here, and then I'm going to move a few frames forward and just move these points up to the closed, 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 closed mouth shape. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I'm just going to try it with the um, also with the magnet tool. Um, just select these points. Yeah, you see, it's not as accurate as I'd like it to be, so that's kind of why I tend to use just the transform tool with the T. Gives me a bit more control. Just move them like that. Okay. So that's it, close. I'm gonna copy this clo close frame, paste it a few frames ahead and copy the open frame and paste it a few frames ahead again. I may even have his mouth open a bit wider after closing. And then I think I might make his teeth his mouth open a bit more, so his teeth will kind of open too. So to do that, I'm gonna, first of all, make the lips a bit lower. Just like that. And now I wanna select his teeth in this shape. Oh, hang on. I'm just gonna get this closed mouth keyframe to finish on to. So i paste that, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Let's just select this teeth, the bottom teeth section, as you can see here. And let's create a keyframe for that. Oh, okay, it's already got a keyframe because these are the keyframes for the whole layer. I'm gonna open it here. As you can see, I've got a tongue in there too. <laughs> a tongue in the layer in the layer. That's that didn't come out as I planned. Um, and then I'm gonna get the teeth back closed by copy and pasting the frame back there. Now we've got this cool little animation, which is pretty cool. I'm quite enjoying the point animation in this software as well with the with the bones. Okay, I think I might animate his eyes moving to the left as well. So I'm going to select all these points of the pupil because these are all on one layer on the eye too. Um, go a few go a few frames ahead. Shift them all. Oh. No, select all the points. Shift them all to the left. And that should shift over, yeah. And then, same again for the other eye. Select all the points. Are they all selected? Nope. Now they're selected. And then go a few frames ahead again, match the other, the other eye. Just like that. And then let's get them back to the original position 
by copying and pasting the frames again in the right order. That's the wrong, I think that's the wrong order, is it? No, that's the right order. So copy that, paste that, copy that, paste that. Okay, that's the wrong order. That's not gonna work. I need to swap them around these keyframes. Um, so yeah, copy that and paste that there. Copy that and paste that there. There you go. Now that should work. Yeah, that's working for me. <laughs> so yeah, um, pretty cool. I'll just show you that we're at the bones on display so you can see, have a better view. Um, hide. No, hide all, oh no, that's the shy bones. Hide all bones selected. There we go. Let's just play that again. You can see that flick coming into play, which is really cool. Okay, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that there. Um, cheers for watching guys, I appreciate that. Um, I'll try and keep you up to date with this rig too. I'll add to it, add more body parts, obviously, and um, just clean it up a little bit more. But yeah, really happy with this. I also wanna start doing new kind of content on the channel, um, not just moho based, more kind of like, just animation in general. So keep an eye out for that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, maybe even a face cam is coming soon too. Who knows? We'll see. But um, cheers for watching as always. Leave a comment. I will reply to all the comments. And subscribe if you want to see more. Cheers, guys. Take it easy.